Hi everyone, Peter here from Flow High Performance, and in this video, we will cover what makes an effective power exercise for athletes, and what some of my favourite power training exercises are to implement. Before we explore what makes an effective exercise for power training, we first need to understand what benefits this form of training can have to athletic performance. Power training enhances the ability to produce higher forces in shorter periods of time. As we can see from this study, it takes around 1.5 seconds to produce maximal force. Most athletic qualities require force to be produced in much shorter time frames than this, meaning that athletes don't have enough time to produce maximal forces during athletic movements, such as running and jumping. Power training can enhance the ability to produce force in faster times. Even if maximal force doesn't increase, an athlete who can produce higher levels of force in short periods of time will generally be able to run faster or jump higher, with all other factors being equal. Now that we understand what benefit power training can have for athletic performance, let's now establish what makes an effective power exercise. There are two primary factors that should be considered when selecting a power exercise. The first is that the exercise should involve ballistic muscle actions. Ballistic exercises are those which involve complete acceleration through the entire movement. Ballistic exercises include those such as jumping and throwing, where force is applied until the athlete leaves the ground or the implement is thrown. Ballistic exercises are best for training power development since it replicates the muscle action seen in athletic exercises. The second factor that makes an effective power exercise is the ability to manipulate load. Exercises which allow the load to be changed from heavier to lighter loads are preferred as different aspects of the force velocity relationship can be targeted. By using heavier loads, the athlete can train with higher force output while lighter loads can allow faster velocities. Now that we understand what factors make an effective power exercise, Let's now explore some exercises which I personally think are highly effective for power training. The first exercise on this list is the box jump. The box jump is the most simple and fundamental power exercise that athletes can perform. The box jump involves ballistic muscle actions and can be loaded by holding dumbbells or wearing a weighted vest. This can be great for younger and less experienced athletes who aren't strong enough to use heavy loads with power exercises. It is also great to implement with more experienced athletes to train the velocity side of the force velocity spectrum. The next exercise on this list is medicine ball throws. Medicine ball throws are a ballistic exercise where the loading can be adjusted by using heavier or lighter balls. Medicine ball throws can be used to develop power in different planes and directions. This can be useful for athletes who can benefit from rotational power rather than only linear movements. The next exercise on this list is the squat jump. The squat jump is a slightly more advanced power exercise as it is more technical to perform than the previous two exercises. The athlete must be able to brace the trunk effectively and safely absorb force upon landing. However, if an athlete is able to perform the squat jump effectively, it can be extremely beneficial. The squat jump can be easily loaded with a range of different weights and is naturally ballistic in nature. The squat jump also involves high eccentric forces upon landing, which trains both concentric and eccentric rate of force development. And the last exercise for this video is the trap bar jump. The trap bar jump can be loaded with both heavy and light loads and is ballistic in nature. The trap bar jump is essentially the same as the squat jump, although it eliminates the eccentric loading. It involves almost pure concentric force output. This may be a good option for athletes who can't effectively land from the squat jump, and it can also be a good option for athletes who want to minimize eccentric loading. This could be if they have a match or competition upcoming that they want to be in fresh condition for. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already.